Everyone is using ChatGPT for learning, but hardly anyone is getting the most out of it. GPT-4 can save you loads of time whether you're studying for a test, trying to break down hard topics, or just learn faster and more productively so that you can spend more time enjoying yourself. In this video, I'm going to dive into seven prompts that can help you to easily learn anything. I've added a link in the description below to all the prompts, so hit that subscribe button and let's start with prompt number one. In-person exams where an examiner is quizzing you directly are way scarier than written ones. As a medic, I had to do lots of case presentations, OSCE stations, and anatomy spot tests. And it's the same for any subject that uses oral or Viber style exams. It can be really, really hard recreating that pressure of direct questioning under exam conditions. Luckily, with GPT-4's improved creativity and training, you can actually get ChatGPT to adopt the persona of an examiner and quiz you in real time on any topic you like. For example, we can use the prompt, you're an examiner examining medical OSCE stations. Please ask two questions for the topic anatomy of the wrist. Wait for my response before asking each question individually. Begin by asking the first question and then waiting for my response. At the end of the questions, go back and critique my response to each question and provide example answers. Now, as a little bonus prompt here, if you enjoy practicing with friends, you can actually get ChatGBT to create a mark scheme for practical exams and then use it to test each other. One of the best productivity hacks when studying anything is to focus on the high yield topics first, those key things that come up again and again. This follows the Pareto principle, which states that 80% of your marks or output will likely come from just 20% of what you're learning. The problem is, it can be really difficult and time consuming identifying what that 20% of high yield topics is for any given subject. Luckily, GPT-4 can help you out here. For example, we can use the prompt, you're a learning and productivity expert. Create a focused learning plan on the above topic using the Pareto principle. Focus learning on the most valuable high yield elements of that topic. Focus on active methods of learning over passive. Don't provide any pretext or context, just output that learning plan. Now, learning isn't just about studying for exams. It's also about learning professional skills that can take our careers to the next level. When I trained as a surgeon, we were never actually examined on our surgical skills, but we were expected to learn key steps before being coached through procedures by expert surgeons. And it's the same when learning any skill at all. You need to learn the steps, but you also want those expert tips to help you reach mastery level. Whether you need a just-in-time refresher on a skill you're learning, or you're just starting off and want to learn each step in detail, ChatGPT has you covered. For example, we can use the prompt, you are an expert in, in this example, a surgeon specializing in orthopedic surgery. Please generate a step-by-step -step guide for performing the following procedure. In this case, a carpal tunnel release. Suggest images that accompany each step and tips to accompany them too. And output this as a list. If you want to go a step further, you can even take an existing example and plug that into the prompt to then get better results. When it comes to tackling difficult topics, one of the best ways to learn things that are hard is using worked examples. Fully solved or partially solved examples provide scaffolding that makes it easier for us to understand. This reduces our cognitive load and helps us to see the steps taken to solve a problem. When we consider a topic to be difficult, it's often because it's new and we can't connect it to any pre-existing knowledge that we have. A good teacher will often break things down into simple terms and use analogies we're familiar with to speed up our understanding. And ChatGPT can do all of these things too and help you to more quickly understand those hard topics. For example, for the topic Japanese kanji, we could say something like, you're a learning expert specializing in the above topic that I'm struggling with. Provide me with some mental models or analogies to help me understand and remember this difficult topic. We can then break things down into tasks. Firstly, explain things in simple terms. Then provide mental models or analogies to help me learn that topic. And then provide some quick example exercises or questions I can practice with you to help me understand in the most basic terms. And finally, break down that topic into its simplest components. You can then get ChatGPT to work through these examples with you so that you develop a deeper level of understanding. The best way to learn a language is through practice. And one of the best ways to practice is to work through a conversation with a native speaker or practice a role play scenario. When practicing grammar, I tend to default to things like Duolingo or working with a language tutor to get the fastest results. Now, while both of these are great, they can be expensive, and sometimes I just want to jump into a conversation without having to set up a specific formal roleplay. ChatGPT really comes into its own here, and its translation features and GPT-4's added creativity means you can quickly set a variety of roleplay scenarios up for yourself. By using variables in our prompt, we can switch up the language and the scenario and then chat to ChatGPT in real time. 
The really cool thing here is ChatGPT can correct any mistakes in our native tongue to really speed up that learning process. For example, we can use the prompt, you are a language tutor. You are to conduct a role play in, insert whatever language you're learning with me. In the role play, you are, and then make up a scenario. In this case, I'm asking it to adopt the persona of a tour guide. Wait for your response before asking each question individually. Only speak in that language. And after each of my responses, provide a brief critique in English and then continue the conversation in the foreign language. Begin by greeting me and then waiting for my response. I can then work through this language scenario and get feedback in real time in my own language. Analyzing and evaluating information is at the top of Bloom's taxonomy and is a higher order method of learning. The problem is that finding appropriate higher order questions to work through can be pretty tricky and time consuming. Let's take medicine for example. At both undergrad and postgraduate level, we'd use case studies to analyze patient symptoms and test results and then make a treatment plan based on a possible diagnosis. Step in ChatGPT and GPT-4. You can prime ChatGPT with some basic patient information and then work through a clinical case in real time. For example, I've mapped out a full case study here for a 64-year-old patient who's suffering with heart failure. I've added in some basic past medical history, some medications and some family history, and you can pull these from textbooks or just make them up yourself. You can then ask that patient questions just like you would a real patient and work through that in real time to simulate something like an OSCE station or a short clinical encounter. At the end, you can then reflect on things like you would in any kind of moulage activity. And this isn't just for medicine. You can do this as anything, whether it's a case study or any kind of encounter that you might have in work or in life in general. When you're just starting out learning a new skill, it can be really difficult to know the most efficient way to learn that skill as quickly as possible. We'll often default to things like YouTube and study experts for the optimal way to learn, but this can be a little bit hit or miss too. Luckily, GPT-4 has your back and you can get ChatGPT to be your personal study coach for whatever it is you're trying to learn. This then gives you a great starting point when actually getting started, which is often the hardest step. For example, if we're learning something complicated like how to speak Japanese, you could prompt ChatGPT with something like, you're a learning expert, provide me with the five best tools for learning the above topic. Focus on tools that use evidence-based techniques like active recall and focus on active methods of learning over passive. Provide a brief one sentence overview of the tool or technique and how best to use it to learn quickly. Now here's a quick bonus prompt before we wrap things up. Once you've mastered any skill, it's then time to put it into practice. There's lots of evidence from psychology and performance coaching that visualizing yourself successfully performing a skill is almost as good as actually practicing that skill for real. Whether it's sitting in an exam or performing in public, GPT-4 can act as your own personal performance coach. We can use a prompt such as topic and then insert whatever skill it is that you're learning, such as learning to play a violin. And then you can say, you're a performance coach specializing in visualization. Guide me through a visualization exercise to help me internalize the topic and imagine myself applying it to a real life situation. And that's it. I hope you found this practical deep dive into ChatGPT really helpful. To help you steal all the prompts and try them out for yourself, I've added a link to a list of all the prompts below so you can copy and paste them easily. I've got some really great other videos covering prompt engineering for learning, which are definitely worth checking out, which I'll put up over here. Thanks so much for watching and subscribing, and I'll catch you again next time.